Hello, hello, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One. Today I'm super excited because I'm introducing a brand new style by Renee of Paris. This one is called Jocelyn in the color Nutmeg F. There's so much here to absorb about this style. You won't want to miss a minute coming up. I purchased this style with my own funds from Wig Studio One. Be sure to follow the links below this video. You can go out and take a look at all the colors and pricing on this style. If you have any question for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com or from any product page on the website. If you scroll down and hit the help button, you'll have the option of being connected with a live chat. So Jocelyn is a short, fun, perky, uh, wavy, voluminous, textured, Bob style cut. There's a big mouthful there. <laughs> There's a lot of ways you can describe this style. I think it all fits. We're going to talk about it. I decided today to try the Nutmeg F. I have seen this color before and really enjoyed it. Nutmeg F starts with a light honey brown. Um, it is a very warm light honey brown. And that is highlighted then with a platinum. Now the highlights appear to be a little chunkier and I'm not quite sure, didn't check my facts on this, but I think the F just has a, because there's a frosting effect of the highlights. So that means they might be a little bit chunkier here and there. I think you're gonna see a lot of that at the front, it's kind of sprinkled on the front and the top. Accents the style quite well, doesn't it? It lightens and brightens it up a little bit as well. And then you have that medium to dark root underneath. Pretty color, very warm. So it's easy to see that there is a lot going on in this style. There's a lot to talk about here. The first thing I want to start with is the fact that this looks nothing like the stock photos. In the stock photos, it showed a little bit of a straighter front. Um, it looked really super short. It didn't feel like it had tons of volume in it based on those photos and just the opposite is true. So this front piece is around six inches, five and a half to six inches on this fringe. Okay. Um, and that's what was really straight in the pictures. You know, it was kind of divided in the middle and then kind of stretched around. Um, but the fringe is actually pretty curly. It has been highly texturized, but there are some underwave in that. So you're going to be able to get some flips and contours all the way around the face here. Okay. Um, now that six inches is shrunk up a bit because of that wave as well. And then about six inches off of the crown. And then that tapers into a four inch nape, which leaves a little bit of a, a shaggy stacking effect in the back. A beautiful, cute little profile back there. There's some layering here on the sides. It weighs about four ounces. Yes, four ounces. So that kind of tells you on a short style like this, there's a lot of hair and a lot of permatees. Now, Jocelyn just has a lace front. It's temple to temple lace, and then it is a closed top, open wefted sides and back. So let's talk about this lace. Okay, so Renee of Paris, they do not make my favorite lace fronts. Um, I will tell you why. Typically, you find a little bit of a thicker monofilament lace material. It's sometimes shiny, and it a lot of times is scratchy. So if you're super sensitive, uh, you want to take note of that. Um, it doesn't exactly blend in sometimes to the skin tone just because of the thickness and the shininess of it. Okay. Now the knotting on this one is actually not bad. The lace front itself is about a half of an inch from the hairline, so it's pretty shallow there. And then it starts in really thick with permatease on the top, on the back and the sides. There's permatease everywhere in this cap. It's thick, it's heavy, it's pillowy. So just keep that in mind. I am so excited that it has a lace front. Um, how many times have I wished that uh, the Dolce by Noriko, which was one of my big, uh, big voluminous short styles that I adore from the beginning, had a lace front. I would just make all the difference in the world. So this, made, this lace front makes it super wearable, gives you lots and lots of options. And there is quite a bit of hair. So you're going to experience an average to heavy density on this style, which 
to me is a little contrary to what I was expecting based on the stock photos. So that is the beauty of wig reviews. Now, does that take away from the style? Absolutely not. It's just that you want to know what you're getting. Uh, what you're getting is a short, shaggy, wavy, voluminous style. Lots of lift here. The permatease makes that possible. Each one of the fibers is of a medium denier. It feels very much like a traditional Noriko fiber. It's very hardy and will probably go the distance. This would be a great workhorse, everyday type wig style. But let's talk about how quirky and fun this is. So I can just imagine that uh, this looks like a fresh salon cut where you, you probably had some thick wavy hair to begin with and you went in and, and asked for a short little wedge style cut and you probably came out with something that looked a lot like this. So you're gonna see that um, there's a lot of stacking in the back. Those layers have been taken down and tapered and texturized on the ends. That gives it a nice wispy look in the back. Plus there's some really nice coverage back there as well. <clears throat> okay, um, but you ask them to leave a little bit of something around the face, okay? so. Uh, obviously, from your wavy hair, it's going to be a little wavy around the face, but they've also taken down and tapered the layers around the face as well. So all of a sudden, your thick wavy hair uh, was transformed into a cute little shaggy modern cut like this. So that's what it reminds me of. Um, I cannot imagine getting this straight. This is not a heat friendly style. I would not advise taking any heat to it. Uh, but to get it to lay like the manufacturer's photos would be very difficult just because of all the waviness underneath. So I think it's just so doggone cute uh, with all these little underwave in there, all the tapered textured ends, all the beautiful shaggy angles and things, cute profile, and everlasting volume, everlasting volume. You're not going to be able to make this a, a slim style. You're not going to make it a low profile style. It's not going to be smooth. So just kind of right off of the top of my head, and I did not have time to study this, um, but the texture and the volume feel very much like the Gabor Sweet Talk. The level of volume, the level of permatease, not the luxury version, but just the regular Sweet Talk kind of reminds me of that style a lot. Um, in terms of shorter voluminous styles of uh, the Henry Margu's jewels. It reminds me a lot of Henry Margu jewels. A movie star by Ellen Villa. Inside look at the cap for Renee of Paris's Jocelyn. There's your temple to temple lace front. It does not extend back into the ear tab. Um, it's about an inch back, I guess, from the hairline here. The knots are fairly thick there. And the lace material is rather rough to the touch. Then you have uh, some rose lace covering wefting on the top. Lots of permatease housed in that underneath that rose lace. And then you have lots of fiber spliced into a closed ear tab here. Uh, just a standard felted nape, velvet nape. And then you have bra strap type adjusters. This is average right out of the box. I did not have to cinch it in at all to accommodate a petite average circumference. This style is directly out of the box. I inspected it, I removed the tags, I shook it out really well placed it on and kind of fell into that little left of center part. But that is all that I have done. I haven't used any product or styling on this hair. Now with glasses, okay. 
Um, I feel like the glasses here may want to be slipped under an ear tab or into a weft just to give it some extra security. It's not bad, um, but there is quite a bit of pillowy permatease right around the ears. So for styling, I just want to focus on this fringe a little bit. We're going to move around the part, um, see how much volume we can get. We're going to try to push it down and see if we can actually achieve a smoother look. We're going to do some ear tucks all the things you want to know to inspire you to style your wig, especially if you're really loving this one and you decide to purchase. Everybody have an amazing day. We'll see you next time on Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.